<laughs> Robin. There's Jim Gaffigan. Hey, Jim. Oh, hold on, Heather. We'll there get you is. in a second. We got we got to get everyone in the studio. Yeah, Dennis and Dennis Leary. Hey guys, how are you? It's how happening. That? Long time no see. This is bizarre. <laughs> Why is it bizarre? Well, on, on many different levels. First of all, you're in a bizarre building <laughs> Dude, here in Manhattan. What's up with your seat? You know. really. look like a little kid. <laughs> and the other thing book. is that Jim Gaffigan and I... <laughs> I love how I enter with Dennis Leary like he's yeah. my buddy. Yeah. yeah, me and Dennis came in together. Well, yeah. it's the new well Jim and thing. I were in a movie together. Yeah? Um, how many years ago now? Oh, well, that was, six that was years? like six years six ago. Six years ago, 99. That's uh, my one non-dorky role. Yeah, it's called Final, yes. directed by Campbell Scott with me, yeah. Jim Gaffigan, and Hope Davis. Yeah, and we worked in the uh, this in abandoned insane asylum. Was really? That really? Creepy? Connecticut. 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 Yeah, that was... Was it haunted? It, it was, was pretty eerie. It, <laughs> it was, was pretty... You, 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 yeah. I don't need these, do I? What the hell do I no. need these for? What, you know what I love What's about that camera this? For? Who's this guy? I don't know, some guy. Can I swear? You can yeah, do whatever. It's XM Satellite, radio. satellite We got radio. all the Can I say whatever I want? Anything. 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 Can I say fuck? No. No, you can of say course. Cunt. Thank you, sir. That's, that's, that's the big you do whatever you want. Fuck, fuck, that. fuck. You know what I love? Fuck. De Dennis is kind of intimidating. I'm not going to lie. Fuck to what? But your chair is so yeah, low. Is I small. feel good. I feel like we have the upper small. hand here. Boost this chair up. Mix his chair for Christ's sake. He looks sake. like uh, the, the dude in uh, Fast Times Ridge One High at the table there. Yeah. There yeah. it is. See when he's uh, when he's sitting up high yeah, or standing, yeah. he's very very intimidating. I like you nice and low. Oh, this That's, is better. Better. That's better. Yeah. That was ridiculous. See now I'm a little. What are you guys scared. doing? I'm more scared now. Much better now than we were, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. That's yeah. For sure. Off the air. Yeah. You fired. Fucked you fucked up, guys. Totally. A little bit. Yeah, that church can't really take a yeah, joke. Yeah, you fuck with Jesus the and you Catholic, can't fuck with Jesus. The Catholic Church. <laughs> you know, Dennis Leary was on one of our last shows, as a matter of That's fact. That's right. We yeah. started becoming pals, and we we had Dennis on and the whole gang from the job at the time, and yep. we all got along, and Dennis was like, man, I want to hang out with you guys from time to time when I'm in Yeah, no yard. problem. And Boom. then you went to show business jail. For yep. two and a half years. <laughs> two and a half years. Two and a half years. That's what it felt like, man. Just our sentence, marking off days on the calendar yeah. as it goes by. It sucked. It was awful. Just a horrible time for us. And then, uh, well... But look. Look how it worked out. I know, we came back. Now we can say whatever we want. Satellite radio. Do you Still, like that? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. Totally. When we ah, first people. started, we were just cursing like crazy. And now it's well, like... Well, can I say something to you guys? I mean, this is just a true fact. Uh -oh. I don't know about uh, Jim. Yes, sir. But I have... Um, you know, I drive a lot going from the city back out to the country, mm -hmm. and you know I drive in the city like a moron I have for years. And I got XM, and all I listen. This is not a fake commercial. I all I listen to is um, uh, satellite radio now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You cannot baseball, listen to regular radio everything, anymore. sports, ESPN, yeah. CNN for news. I don't understand you know? why people are still listening to regular radio. I, They'll be I, my be car got broken soon. into, and they stole my XM radio, so I had to go back to commercial radio for the that's weekend. The I could not. It, I can't even imagine going back there anymore. Yeah, I had sucks. to, and it, it just killed me. Listening sucks. to uh, 20 minutes of commercials. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it's this is the way to go. Well, you're doing very well these days. What about Jim? And, no, another amazing review. It's like all that rescue show just, just gets like You every, don't even have to be doesn't here, it? You know how many guys I had to blow? I'm telling you. <laughs> At the post, between me and Lenny Clark, it's <laughs> really, there's a line around the block. It's, it never stops. You know? How much oh, do you love FX? Issues. I love FX. Like the, now, there's a, a, FX a network. Is like, yeah, it's kind of like what the the uh, TV version of what you guys did. Yeah, because we can do basically except except for the word fuck, we can say anything we want. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. And I've I was heard saying this to Jim. We were the job was on ABC, and we yeah. were considered a bus because we were only getting seven to nine million people it a week. Great now we're getting too. three to three and a half million people, and we're a hit. Yeah. So yeah. you know. I That's how right it works. Yeah. XM has been good for like five years. It's about almost time for them to fuck that up. I wouldn't say. When you say, why are we lowering the blinds? These guys are gonna get naked? No. What? No. No. We oh, usually the lower the. Is the smoking? Yeah. Oh, so you can say no. fuck, but you can't smoke on satellite radio. <laughs> they really don't want them to <laughs> right. see him no, smoking. Hold right. on. I just got really creeped out because we only, you know, put the blinds down when when people are getting naked. I'm like, what? These guys decided yeah, to get African. naked. Right yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jim. Show us that. I don't know why I have to be naked in here. <laughs> show us that Midwestern hog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. We really don't want them to see Dennis smoking. They, I have no who idea. Who cares? I guess not. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I've never heard of secondhand visualization of smoke hurting anybody. Oh, wow. Through a glass wall. The smoking police does wander the floor. See, yeah. even yeah. on satellite radio where we think we have all this freedom, we have problems. Fucking human resources. Someone will complain there was smoke in the studio. They're the most ridiculous set this? of rules we got, though. I got a Diet Pepsi. You bring me a Diet Coke and a water. And, and a water. water. Oh. What's the water for? To put Whatever the you want. Out. You're a big star. We don't know what you want to drink. What's it all the broads? 
Oh, our wall of uh, fame over there. Yeah, it's the latest, you know. Got a little... Uh, Who are they? A little inspiration. Well, you got uh, really famous? Christina Aguilera. Where's she? Over there on the right. You got Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan with the, the whore du jour, <laughs> as we like to call her. From what? And then you got uh, a little Britney oh, action. No. And Nikki Cox. and uh, Nikki Cox. And a uh, yeah. speaking of which, how's Bobcat Goldthwait doing? You see him lately? <laughs> oh, ouch! <laughs> yeah, I guess Jay kind of stole she Nikki Cox from she, she's, she's hanging with Jay, Jay Moore. Moore. Oh, Jay Moore, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, <laughs> Jay Moore is so extending true? extending from just stealing material. <laughs> no, Jay Moore is actually with <laughs> Goldthwait's <laughs> yeah. ex. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm kidding, Jay. Stop it. I thought that's why you Jay. brought it up. Yeah. No, I didn't know. Jay's I talked to these guys the here and there, but I had no idea. He's been bragging that he's uh, been banging Nikki Cox. What are you bragging about that for? She's hot, man. She's you don't really think she's fake hot? Fake tits. I don't like fake tits. Oh, no, I don't care. Fake tits, automatically you lose seven points in my scale. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't like them either. Not I don't a big like fan. the fake yeah, ones. Yeah, but if you had a choice, but I mean, sometimes they're still nice. I mean, if the rest yeah, is great. You know what? They look good know? with their clothes on. When they take them off, nothing better than a nice bag ripple down the side of a no tit. Good. Exactly. No good. Do you, have, you obviously have have a certain standard that yeah do I, yeah you're <laughs> yeah. working on a different level than the rest yeah, of us. I'm filth. I don't care. Yeah. His <laughs> standard is none. What about Jane Jim Gaffigan? Moore. What's that, sir? Implants or no implants? I, I'm not. I'm uh, all natural. I like the uh, yeah. You know, I got a stomach implant myself, but uh, <laughs> and I'm tired of women. You know, I'll catch women staring at my gut, and I'll be like, "Hello, I'm up here." <laughs> Not some piece of flab for you to oogle at, you know, just because I'm in a tube top rubbing cocoa butter on a tricycle going la 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 la. Oh, he did a joke. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> he did a joke. And then we have the severed head from a blow-up doll, Dennis. That's <laughs> classic. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's that. for the ladies. When the ladies visit, they want to see that. Yeah. I think that's in honor of the, the BTK killer. Oh, like God, wow. Huh? I think he ever. We haven't played the audio yet. Jesus Christ. Uh, see crazy. the video of it? Yeah. yeah, he's severely it's disturbed like a mechanic, if I could go out on a limb. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, just yeah. very matter of fact. So then I went over to Junior, but he looked like he was going down, so I, you know, I, I, I finished him off. Then I went over to Mom. It's just like reciting a, yeah. you know, a, a recipe. And he says, put them down. Yeah, So I down. put her down, yeah. and he used to be uh, what, working a dog pound. So oh, he's that, using, oh, yeah, really? he's using the terminology yeah. of his, his work. Which is really yeah. twisted, man. He probably only worked there so he could kill something. That's probably kill why he even worked there. Yeah. So just to kill the, wow. the, dog, the animals. Dog's just brought in. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right, put him in the gas chamber. Ah, he's sick. <laughs> what? No, I gotta choke him. <laughs> She's on her way over. Ah, no, he's what? not good. No good. <laughs> right. I, I thought he had fleas. What? <laughs> right. Yeah. What's this dog been here? An hour a week? He only choked the shit out of him. <laughs> Had it. Wow. Yeah, that guy, man. I it is frightening that. to watch. I want to see more. That's the creepy part. From yeah, the, human the nature is just the weirdest I, I, thing. Because he's so creepy, I want to see more of him reciting the the yeah. uh, the uh, the death you know scenarios. Yeah, the whole he, he he just describes everything he did. Oh, the woman uh, got guilty. sick. Yeah, yeah. please guilty. Totally, the like, woman totally. threw up. I gave her a glass of water, her her comforted down. her, yeah. and then put a bag over her head and choked her. What the wow. fuck? How do you switch like I that? I blame video. Oh. I blame uh, violent video games myself. Yeah, in the fifties. Yeah. I yeah. blame psychotic drugs. Oh, oh wow! You heard the Tom Cruise. No, I'm Tom I just heard that Cruise out there. Gaffigan. Psychotropic, isn't it? What they were talking about? I don't know. I'm not that smart. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Uh, you. I, I don't know. The actors that take themselves a little too seriously like that. What are you talking about? Get you know, out of there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why? Huh? Do you know Tom Cruise? I know Tom. Is is he really that like? I know you don't want to badmouth him. That's cool. But is he like as exciting as he was in the Matt Lauer interview? Is he like that in person? <laughs> I I don't know that that side of Tom. I played hockey with Tom for years. He was on a, uh, the same team as me out in um, L. A. Uh, Jerry Bruckheimer's uh, team, and he's a great guy. And we do some charity stuff together. And this stuff is all new to me. So. To try you to know. hypnotize you with that Scientology stuff? No, he never even talks about it. Really? Is, I don't know where. That's the I guess dangerous he's thing. He's over just a line right through the mind, public, you know like a mean? Jedi. He's just yeah, influencing I, look, you I without just words. The Catholic school, you can't get any god into me, man. You know, <laughs> that's it's it, all huh? been sucked out. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like going to prison and getting out. It's all done. You know, it's like doing push-ups. <laughs> you know what I mean, all the guilt and everything's just gone. You know. Well, I hope the nuns are happy. <laughs> Some of the I worst. You know what's funny is I was writing a scene for the show. Where my character goes back to the church, he kind of uh, he gets religious again, and the, uh, it was a comedy scene where he goes to confession for the first time in like 25 years, Jesus. and the pri the priest says, "Say uh, ten Our Fathers and ten Hail Marys." So the punchline was that he comes out and goes up to the altar, kneels down, and he can't remember either prayer. 
So when I was writing it, I thought, well, you know, I'll just I'll write it until I can't actually remember the real. Pre- I could not get beyond the first two lines. Really? really? Which I loved. I was like, yeah, I completely. <laughs> it's completely gone out of my head. I, so. I remember when you know because I went to Catholic school too, and I remember like I was like. Uh, the captain of the football team, and we'd always do a Hail Mary before we'd, you know, go and play or at halftime and stuff like that. And I never neck. knew anything beyond that. I'd always be, Hail Mary. For blah, blah, blah. Well, I just, <laughs> can you, what, what can, our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Like thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Be approved, written, consent, and major league baseball. I will be done. I don't know. On earth as it is in heaven, uh, give us friends. this day our daily bread. And and then the part in church that always freaks me out because you hear the s's and forgive us our trespasses. <laughs> we forgive those trespasses against us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I, worse than being in a church and hearing those s's. Right, and I right. know it's coming up, and I anticipate. Forgive us our trespasses. <laughs> we forgive okay, those. All right. Yeah. 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 Hail Mary. Yeah. The snakes in there. Full of grace, Lord's with you. Blah, blah, blah. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I don't even know if that is. I, I think it's going to burst into flames in a yeah. second with the scumbags in here. Oh, I can remember goodness. my dad staring me down like the Our Father would start, and he'd start looking at me. I'm like, like all right, I guess I'll say it. Well, you, the great thing about <laughs> Free you know, will, the, huh? the Catholic Church is mostly white people, and there's a lot of mumbling even during the singing. Yeah. Just going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly white people. The good thing about a neighborhood, too. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the days, huh? I could never get into the singing at church. No way. I was the guy sitting there just like, eh, well, I'm not even going to fake it. I don't know about you guys, but I, I had to be an altar boy. I got kicked out of the altar, altar boys and the choir as well. But not cute I thought enough. church sucked. <laughs> yeah. And the first time I went to a black church when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I was like, damn. They're having this, fun. Yeah, they're dancing oh, and yeah. singing. This could actually be fun. It could be yeah. like a concert. They're yeah. you know? clapping and singing <laughs> yeah. and sweating. I always <laughs> had the dirtiest thoughts in church, too. I was always like, peace be with you and an extra peace for you. Because <laughs> you deserve it. Well, I think that's that's not just church, Jim. That's <laughs> you kind of in general, isn't it? That's, that's why I have my clothes off right now. <laughs> The first time I ever winked at a girl, it was in church. Um, I was like six or seven years old, and she was a cute blonde girl. And this is true. I was winking at it. I didn't have to wink, so I just like did it too hard, and then I realized it was a boy. Was this last week? <laughs> no. <laughs> little faggot. I'd been winking at a blonde boy. A six-year-old blonde <laughs> little boy. Little queer. <laughs> why, why did you think it was a girl? I don't remember. It was like one of those fucking odd like Tatum O'Neill age things where you just can't quite tell. You know, it's like kind of butchy and kind of girly. <laughs> Let me say one thing. I can't remember anything from when I was six except that JFK got shot in the head, which is a pretty big thing. So, yeah. yeah. And, but winking at a girl? Well, yeah. How old are you? I'm 36, but I remember... You're way too old to remember that kind of shit, man. I only remember it because I, I realized... Because it was, it was a, a gay experience. Like, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Once I so realized it, it was a boy, I stopped. It wasn't like I, I was like, oh, thank God. I kept winking at boys man, right after that. That was the end of the yeah. winking at boys. I realized the, my the silly father, error. Notice the father started winking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well... Your story. Hey, really fast. We've had a girl on hold for like two hours. Ooh, Heather really? from Queens. She needs a little help. Heather? Hey. hey guys. Oh, she even fell asleep. Heather, you're on the radio with uh, Jim Gaffigan and Dennis Leary. Hey, guys. How, how's everybody? Good. She's 22 years old. Go ahead, Heather. All right. I was having this conversation with my boyfriend not too long ago, and uh, it kind of came up that, like, um, vaginas are all different. <laughs> and I knew they were different, like, on the outside. Yeah. But apparently on the inside they're all different too. Like they all like like some are like squishier than others. Yeah. Like some have like more give and like some are kinda nubbly. Yeah, okay, what's the problem? Some you hit the back wall a little too soon. Yeah. So, like I was really like intrigued by this because like as a girl, like <clears throat> it just kinda never came up and like hmm. I don't know what's You're all self conscious now? Is you that every a, badge the was problem? the same? Yeah, where where's the problem in this? I'm just curious now. Like, what are all the different types? And well, like, how, what's the preference? How is yours on the outside? Is it like, is it like slim, or is it like, you know, kind of big, like maybe a Scooby snack? A Scooby snack? Is you, <laughs> you have big lips or small? That's just because Jim likes the big ones. Yeah, he um, likes the ones that sandwich. look like a chimp's mouth. Well, there's no roast beef or anything like that, but like they're like cold. <laughs> and uh, what's the problem with the inside of your vagina? Well, there's no problem. He told me you liked mine very much, but I'm just curious. It just Yes, there are different types. Like, what are you going to say? Types? What? Like, what are the different types? Like, is there a good type, a bad type? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, like like anything, yeah. There's good and bad. And, yeah. there's, and there's indifferent. Yeah. <laughs> there's good, there's bad, and there's middling. <laughs> you know? 
A good type is one that says yes. A bad type is one that screams rape. <laughs> oh, Very God. simple. Jim Norton's Guide to Vaginas <laughs> on XM Radio. Uh, yeah, good, uh, good luck with your vagina. Yeah, all right, Heather. You guys aren't going to help me out here? What, what do you good need? One? There's, there's, uh, your big... boyfriend likes it. What, do well, you, what else do you want? You're a really educated group of vaginas. Yeah, no worries. Do you have a tight one? Uh, yeah. All right, then you have no problems. Big ones, little ones. You don't. You ones don't. I climb on rocks. <laughs> Short ones, skinny ones, even ones with chicken. Pox. It's kind of like a comedy layup, and we're all kind of like uh, I know. vaginas. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Are you still there, Heather? I'm here. Do you know what I like? Not all girls get this, but sometimes if a woman gets turned on, there's actually a physical drip from um, the vagina to the leg, like the, like a almost like a, a trail of something that's like a, a waterfall, like a harp string. No, I'm sure I'm not even kidding. That, that's that I like. Also known as a yeast infection. No, 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 not that milky <laughs> shit. No, I mean just like a nice, dirty girl like slug trail. Talk about this like BTK. Yeah. <laughs> and then I put her down. Yeah, I'd love to put you down. <laughs> you know what? That, that's a good point. That's what Norton sounds like when he's talking about pussy. Yeah. You know? He's like the BTK. You know, I like the slug trail down the leg, and then I had to get the plastic uh, bag and put it over her head. Put her down. I put her down. And it... Creep. Heather, I guess that's it for you, all right? Yeah. We all really, right, guys. We really Let's go know. have fun with it. Yeah, we don't know where to go with this one. If it breaks, if it breaks, call back. <laughs> all right, let's go to John in Jersey. John, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey, that, that chick's a perfect example why women shouldn't have voice boxes. Shut up. Huh? Uh, hello? Now clear your throat and start over. <laughs> Damn, crap. Awful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dennis, man, just want to say I love the show. Uh, I'm a medic in the city, and I, I think... Oh, you're an ambulance well, driver? I'm a... Uh, I'm a medic. They love that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the ambulance driver. You motherfucker, I'm a medic. <laughs> Uh, but you know, showing the uh, the ghost that you know that the trail you man. A lot of us deal with that shit that we you know we pretend that it doesn't bother us. But I saw that on the show and, and it got me hooked. And you know, we have all those people following you. And, you know, the brother of the other show and, and everybody else that kind of you know dies on you all, all the time. And that right. stuff really bothers you though. And you do a great job and just keep it up, man. I got hooked on that show about two weeks into it and watch every episode since. Well, make sure you watch tonight at ten o'clock. FX. And, oh, all boys. right. Thanks, thanks for calling. Rescue me on that. Yeah, place. it's a great. You know, it is great original idea. It's not just you know, a, a remake of Emergency. <laughs> it's not just <laughs> right. a, fi a fireman show. Right, right. You right. know, there's a lot of cool twists in remember, there, and the whole thing emergency? with 9/11 and the emergency. Fallen Brothers and yeah. uh, 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 Engine 51, Squad 51, Rampart. I'm starting an IV with ringers. What the hell was a Rampart? Rampart was the hospital. Oh, okay. yeah. Rampart Hospital. And they had a hookup like what was a satellite unit to just talk to people back at the hospital. Sending his vitals now. You know, send off a carrier pigeon with something. Well, he remembers everything. Oh, I, mean, I was. A, I grew up in front of a television, and it just hasn't Anthony, stopped. Well, I did too. I don't I'm remember. I don't remember the like, details like that. Oh, I am. Yeah. He's remembering weekend at a, a, a boy when he was six. You remember everything about. <laughs> Emergency! Wow! And, and look at our lives. The problem is, <laughs> you know? the problem is, on the other side of that, he doesn't leave his house. Ever, right. So. Well, that's yeah. True. I only remember people who, when, when they get shot. That's how I my that, sign that's, that's your JFK, old RFK, Martin Luther King, <laughs> John Lennon. You know, There's a few other things. That's how I remember my, my life. Hey, Dennis. Uh, it was in the paper the other day that uh, someone got shot or two killed. Guys. Two guys got two guys killed. Got shot on, on the set. Yeah. We but, I mean, there. it had nothing to do with Rescue Me. No, it was Sunday night they got shot. But it was a set they were using for the show, and then two guys. It's a firehouse set. The it's blood is wild. still there. I don't know what it was about, but there's a there's a gambling uh, illegal gambling spot in that neighborhood, so maybe it had something to do with that. But <laughs> probably, you know, it's kind of weird. I, you know, you have to you have, sometimes you have those dreams where you kill somebody in your dream and All you wake up and you're yeah. just talking about. So that. I got up at five thirty in the morning that. yesterday. I got in the, the truck to go to work and I open up the paper and I go. Wait a minute, because there's a big picture of me. It said, oh, two murdered on rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, whoa, 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 whoa. Where was I? Oh, no. no. I was, I was it'll, it'll, be, it'll be like an urban legend. Larry killed two guys. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know your show, lines, Larry will kill you. Yeah. We we'll see the ghost of him walk past the window they on the came show. They were prepared to the set. They didn't we, know their lines. We and talk about that, play. man. It's like one of the most frightening and relieving things. When I, I've had dreams where... I killed somebody, but it was a couple of years ago. Right. But the cops are just starting to get onto it right, and question right. me. And I start thinking, I left evidence. I know there's got to be stuff. I'm totally screwed. I'm going to prison. And you wake up and go, 
Oh, it was a dream. Thank God. You're out of trouble it's, in a second. It's the best feeling ever. So here's ever. the oh, question. What does OJ dream about? Right? <laughs> because if we're having these dreams, yeah. right? <laughs> What's he God, dreaming man. about? That's something, right? <laughs> you know? Always sweating. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I dreamt I... Oh, shit. I What's did. the other guy? Beretta? Yeah. Oh, Robert Blake. Robert yeah. Blake. Another one. He's just got to shut up. He got away <laughs> with the murder. Moon. He's like, shut ah, up. I don't care. I That's that great him. L.A. justice out there. Oh, yeah. Showing out how to put uh, him away. He really is the greatest Robert Blake. <laughs> Fat mouthy bitch. Oh, forgot the gun. Be right back. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me. Yeah, be right back, whore. <laughs> uh, people, I think people have this inbred hate. Her, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie Lee Blakely, I think, was the, was the woman's name. People just have this hatred of her. It's almost like the public doesn't care that he did it. She yeah, yeah. Once they found out what yeah, she yeah. was like, they're like, well, yeah, yeah. People like Beretta. They didn't like her. There really is a weird underlying sense. Yeah. You're right, though. If she had to come and people, no one wants to say that out loud. But people are like, oh, yeah. Man, she would have gotten sympathy if she'd married like Jerry Lee Lewis. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah. Drowned in a pool. But you know, <laughs> Beretta. You know, people are gonna fall in Beretta's favor. I mean, that's just the way it is. Enjoy we, Beretta. We, I like that show. I liked it. We liked the bird. Remember <laughs> right. the bird? Yeah. 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 Had a bird. He was yeah. getting friends with the old rummy guy. Yeah. Yeah, so, that was you know, good stuff. You don't want to pick him the away. Married a long murderer, you know. I could tell you all about that show. <laughs> That's too. OJ too. He was like a very likable guy. Was when it, he got he arrested, like, it was a shock. You know. Did he have a bird on his shoulder? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Remember that? Like, OJ. <laughs> not not film and Roots. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or he was in Roots. <laughs> it was his cockatoo Fred. It was a uh, red yeah. cockatoo. There you go. All right, we got calls coming in from all over the country. Really? Brian in Kansas City. What's up, Brian? We're on uh, the radio with Dennis Leary and Jim Gaffigan. Good morning, guys. Hey, hey uh, Dennis, I love the show, but I have to ask you. I mean, yeah. you deal with all the high drama of, of you fighting and, and, and trying to get help and going through that. And how in the hell do you get to two old men with prostitutes, a monkey, popping pills, and drinking? I know. It's fun, right? <laughs> Oh, just hilarious. I just want to know how they make that connection. I mean, it's just... And I try to get my fiancé involved in the show, and I tell her how great it is, and then the episode we turn on is that one. She's like, how in the hell does this, you know... Does this get to a great drama? So, but no, I, I love the show. I just the writing is just so off the wall sometimes. It's just really, you know, amazes me where they come from. This it's stuff. great because it's different than all the other shit on TV. And it's realistic, man. That's the beauty of it. You know, you oh, don't play characters that are like fucking soft and cute, which I love. They're always like some fucking edgy guy with problems, with cheats, with like a, a douche. I mean, that's the yeah. greatest, man. I know. It's never like a, a perfect guy. I, I know. Well, Unfortunately, that's. Most of the people yeah, I know. I know you guys don't like this. But actually, I'm an attorney, so I'm I'm not a Down syndrome kid, but uh, uh, I have a lot of clients. I deal with some criminal. Yeah, let's uh, move on to Scott. Scott, what's up? Hey guys. Hey uh, Dennis, I'm a huge fan, and uh, I think Rescue Me. And I'm not saying it because you're on the O and A show today, but I honestly think Rescue Me is the greatest show that's ever been on television. Me and my wife talk each week. It's like watching a movie. Wow. I mean, it's like watching a movie every week. It's not like a series. There's never been anything like it. it I, honest, honest to God, man, it is the greatest thing we've ever seen on TV. <laughs> FX. Sorry. FX, Sorry, FX Scott. rules. they got other great shows, too, man. But I just wanted to let you know uh, it's great. Don't change it a thing and just keep it going. All right, Scott. Thanks, thanks man. That, that is a thanks, real Scott. compliment of, you know, of your show. You know what I mean? It, it's like when a show is really good, it's, <laughs> it is like a movie. And, you know, the amazing thing is like, it's so much better than all the the, all the crappy movies that are out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you know, I've done, I did thirty films, and it's like being a baseball player because you look back and you realize if you did thirty films and you could get like seven mm -hmm. to ten of those that you were proud of, you're a, you know, yeah. you're, you're doing good. Yeah. Right? Because most yeah. movies yeah. suck. Right. Oh, it's and you know, the, the thing yeah. is, what I found anyways is that two or three weeks in, you know pretty much that <laughs> oh really yeah you really do because some, stuck, the director right? either doesn't know what he's doing or she doesn't know what, what she's mm -hmm. doing or the you know you, the actors are assholes and you know and the, it doesn't have the right feel or whatever and yeah. and and you're stuck in utah for 16 more goddamn <laughs> weeks you know what i mean so yeah. I'm, I'm really happy to be doing tv and be in new york and be able you to gotta have a thick live, skin you know? too you know you're in a bad situation and you, you yeah know i don't have a thick skin man I, you I'm, know the review's gonna suck and you're like oh you also don't want a guy that just tells people right you know fuck you and this yeah. sucks and i'm not doing this and you know you also don't want those seven good films at the the first seven of the 30 yeah. that you yeah. make yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then, and then, and then the rest Game, <laughs> Plus, when they say 12 weeks in Utah, you know it's going to be, you know, 18. Oof, you know? Yeah. I don't what, know if you've been to Utah, but... Nah. What was the, what was your favorite movie you did? My favorite? What do you mean, in terms of having fun? or? Yeah, just in general. I, it doesn't necessarily have to be your best film. What was the, um, I had what was a the blast best time you had? Doing everything I did with Ted Demi, I had a blast, because yeah, Ted, was, a, Ted, Ted. was fun. 
Um, but I had a blast doing Wag the Dog because that was like a lot of improv. I loved Wag the Dog. And Hoffman. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a really good time. I doing forgot final. you were in that movie. No offense. Holy yeah. crap! That's right. You the were movie there. final. We had a good time yeah, yeah. shooting that. I, yeah. Now if I take movies. I take the movie based on am I going to have a good time or not, and not so much how it's going to come out because you can't tell how it's going to come out. So if it's going to shoot someplace I like to be with some people that I like, then I'll do it. You read yeah. a script and just go. Uh, you have no clue if it's going to be good, bad, shit. Well, I mean, you can't tell anyways because yeah. it's there's so many. You know, plates up in the air, the right. director and the, the studio and stuff. But like, literally, I did a film with uh, Campbell and Hope again called yeah, uh, Secret the Lives of Death, just because yeah. I knew yeah, I was going to have a good time. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I, I like them and we're going to, you know, laugh our asses off. You yeah. ever think uh, you read a script and think it's going to be really good and wow, this has potential and just doesn't quite pan out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Christ, yeah. But you know, it's also, times. it's interesting oh. with Rescue Me. It's like, uh, you, you <laughs> seem to have found this keep, formula sorry. of like, uh, <laughs> You know, with Peter Tolan, because it, it's, it's a, it's you know, it's hard to pull it all together. You know what I mean? It's like you're, you know, it's like Peter Tolan. You guys write it together and all that, and you know, it's just. It well, it's like also the real, actors. I mean, we have great, we have yeah. people who can do comedy and drama. So you know, and great looking girls. You know, it's it's a nice combo. Yeah, that you know? also. And, and we shoot in New York, you. which you can't beat. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. that's you know? so true. And you know? letting you get away with murder. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I keep laughing because uh, the Today Show is doing fashions, uh, fashion do's and don'ts. Yeah, do's about, and don'ts. And pictures, another original idea. The about pictures time. they're showing are so fucking funny, Because man. you know what? I don't know what's going on. I don't remember this when we were kids, but way, I, maybe it's because of the fashion thing with the, with the um, what do they call them, the, the low riders, the pants? Oh, yeah. yeah. Way too many girls who shouldn't be... Here's where the terrorists yeah. have, have a good idea. <laughs> I think we need vans driving around the city to pass out burkas, okay? <laughs> Basically, they pull over, they grab you, you got to wear a burka until you lose 100 pounds. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. And and the same thing with guys. There's fat guys out there wearing the wrong clothes, you know? Yeah. I saw yeah. a chick wearing low riders, and I'm not kidding. My son saw it. He can back me up yeah. down in the uh, Soho. Her ass was so big, and the pants were so small, that the top four inches of her ass, including the crack... We're up over the top of the pants oh, and God. leaning down over the top of the like pants. Like flapping over yeah. the top. Yeah. Men and women were turning around going, ugh. And at that point, you got to be picked up. Because you somebody, just... your boyfriend's not telling you the truth. Something's How do you wrong. leave the house? How do you just you, look you, at the Well, see, ass. that's the problem with democracy. These people are allowed to leave the house in anything Allowed they want. to leave. We need to take a piece of the terrorist creed <laughs> and a, attach it to our d democracy. So they can't be 100% wrong with everything no, they No, they some things they're right about. you got to hit Burkas on something. for the big women, okay? <laughs> You know, you got a mustache, you're wearing the veil. Right, right? the whole veil. Yeah. yeah. It's just a half shirt that's just, you're like... Oh, oh, come on, man. With the gut. Yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know. What about the that. juicy wear? The juicy... I fucking love those, dude. The, with the, the, ass, the fat ass with juicy written on them. Fat oh, ass? Or a nice fat ass? ass. Not fat, like little chubby. I like that. When, really when it's a fat ass, it should say swamp it. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's the problem. You're, you're part of the problem. I really am. Dumb. Because you like the fat ass girls in the tight jeans. Not fat, like disgust. Like, you know, no, but like see, a guy way. like you is in these apartments saying, you look good, honey. Go, ahead, go shopping. Go ahead, like, walk go around out. the city like that. Jimmy likes a good full ass, right, Jimmy? Yeah, nice fucking nice one. My really? Borderline yeah. uh, yeah. fat. No, Borderline. Yeah, kind of like that. Like that a lot. And boys in church. All right, so yeah. <laughs> <Winking. laughs> fat ass girls. <laughs> Let's go to only blonde boys though. I'm not a complete queer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who can resist smooth abs? <laughs> LOL. Let's go to Kerry. <laughs> Kerry, what's up? Uh, hey, morning, boys. What's up? We're talking hey. to Dennis Leary and Jim Gaffigan. Hey, Dennis. Yeah. I, dude, dude, you're awesome. Thanks. You're fucking hilarious. I loved, I loved you at Demolition Man oh, when boy. you went through your whole cheeseburger spiel. Right. Oh, that dude, was dude. awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Farley. I think your best work was narrating the Red Sox championship DVD, my friend. Well, that's got to be up there. Oh, you, t dude, I got goosebumps listening to you describe this year. All right. And there was All right, enough of this. Hey, 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 this guy's, this guy's on the right track. Enough of this shit. Yeah, we got some Met fans and Yankee fans. Yeah, that was my favorite. That's actually my favorite thing I ever did. And groceries, I love that. Oh. Yeah, uh, Suck compared to the world champion Red Sox. That's yeah. right, Dennis. Did you believe when it was three uh, three zip? No, I actually thought um, in St. Louis because I'm a you know a Red Sox fan from way back that uh, people don't realize this, but I actually have it framed because uh, there was a picture in the paper the next day when they changed pic pictures in the in the uh, ninth. Johnny Damon was talking of Gabe Kapler, so it was number 19 talking to number 18 in center field. Number three was at bat. For the uh, for the Cardinals, um, Renteria, who's with the Sox now, and I thought 
Now they're going to win four in a row. They're going to take it away from the Red Sox the way they, the Red Sox took it away from the Yankees. That's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. I was biting my nails thinking this is the beginning of the end. But uh, I was wrong. So did you believe though when uh, you know the Yankees were up three? Do you have any faith uh, still? I until game five. After game five, I thought, wait a minute. Yeah, know, that's what something's yeah, wrong. That's what I yeah. started thinking. Like, the, oh, Yankees the, didn't, the Yankees didn't yeah. look. They looked tight. You know that mm-hmm. fucking David Ortiz. He is a Yankee guy, killer like I've never seen. He murders the Yankees, man. Fuck. Yeah. I thought that was one of the greatest things. In, besides the birth of my two kids, <laughs> that was just like I can't I can't describe to you how happy I was. Yeah. You got the World Series just after Game Seven oh, against I, the Yankees. Yeah, yeah, that I was so goddamn happy. Yeah, we were happy for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was such a great feeling. We were happy for you. <laughs> Ugh. Little Ben running around here all excited. Uh, the worst part was watching that idiot be happy. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even mind seeing Boston fans happy. I mean, I've been taking it in the ass for a long time, but just seeing that fucking dumb Ben happy really irritated <laughs> our stupid producer. Ugh, he deserves no happiness. Let's go to Alex. <laughs> a- Alex, what's up? Hey, uh, hey, Dennis, I just want to tell you I love Rescue Me. I want to tell you it was great uh, watching Cam Neely out there on the ice with you guys. And uh, just, wanted to, just wanted to ask you, do you think the league can bounce back if there's a, there's a season this year for the NHL? Oh, yeah, big hockey fan. Probably not till January. I think they got to get all the contracts straightened up. But keep your eyes open because Cam's coming back on the show uh, in Episode 9 which is uh, about six weeks away. So You know, I'm a huge Islanders fan, yeah. and I, I got the bill in the mail the other day for my season tickets. They, did, they didn't lower the prices after all the shit. I don't know what they're really? thinking, man. Are they insane? You I know mean, you people... really, you got I, you got to give something back to the fans to get them back in the building. Holy shit, really? I, I want to cancel my, my season tickets. How much do they cost per game? Uh, I, I don't have the bill in front of me. I got four seats, and it's it's ridiculous, the prices. But I, I, I want to give outrageous. up my season tickets completely, but I got some nephews I want to take to the games. They right. don't they don't understand the lockout and the you. strike, and it's like, uh, so of course I got to get some kind of package. Uh, you got to do games. it for the kids. But I'm not getting the whole package now because of what happened. And uh, and I can't believe I got the bill, and they didn't lower the prices at all to try to you know say, well, look, this is what we're doing for you guys. you know. Dude, it's baseball outrageous. got hurt by the strike. Hockey's definitely going to be hurt by it. Oh, it's huge, huge. Yeah, but second of all, you know gotta, what was you, weird? That, you know, we didn't have a season last year, and I'm a huge fan. After a while, you didn't even care what was in the papers about this. The, the you know lockout. what was really weird is, is kids like my son stopped playing the uh, the video games of really uh, hockey. Yeah, because there was nothing to, to on TV to remind them, you know, right. to get the interest up. So that's wow. where they really screwed themselves. You know, didn't even think of that. Yeah, I know. It takes away that whole. All the industry. young kids just went on to they went on to lacrosse and and you know basketball and you know. Smoking they really pot. screwed themselves. It was picking up a lot <laughs> yeah. of steam in the country too, man. Hockey was like, it was, it was it, getting it was there. Stu- people like really market. started to talk about it more, yeah. and the, yeah. it was just getting a lot more stupid, uh, recognition. Stupid mistake, Bad move. Yeah. I love going to hockey games. It's so exciting. So I've heard yeah. it's great. Life. Better than baseball and all. It's that. the best life sport in the world. That's everybody says. It. I've never been to a hockey game. It's though. amazing. Really? Why not? Take a puck to that head. I don't go to a lot of sporting events. I don't. I don't. Busy they guy. They don't take off to watch me. Like I love fucking. I never. I love the Yankees. I've never seen Jeter play live. The last game I went to was '95. Fucking Yankees, Seattle. 15 inning win you over, the, over the, the Mariners Yan- in Yankee Stadium. Really? And lost three straight to like Randy the Johnson. Yankees, when the Yankees play, it's kind of like a. It, you think it's you're at like a beauty contest because it's like Derek Jeter and all the girls go. <gasps> <laughs> 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 you know, it's just like they just said uh, Bernie Williams. <gasps> oh, Bernie. nobody wants to fuck Bernie Williams, <laughs> dude. It's so funny to say that <laughs> Mrs. Williams <laughs> in, in New York. In New York, when they had the first uh, Subway Series, they actually did a whole article in the Post about who's hotter, uh, Dirk Jeter or. or Mike Piazza. Oh, right. And I remember, remember they gave their stats yeah. and stuff. Who did you vote for? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like Alfonso. <laughs> oh, body on that kid. <laughs> All right. Piazza. Let's go back to the phones and say hi to Joe on Long Island. Joe, what's up? Hey, not too much. Uh, I just didn't want to leave Gaffigan out. You know, those Sierra Mist commercials, pretty much comparable to Dennis the 30 films. Yeah, it's uh, very similar. Oh, no, we were right. just talking about that. It's a, it's a different shoot schedule than Rescue Me. Uh, oh, they, they, I work they, for they five days, really and he works for five months. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> Dude, as a comedian, do you know what it's like to hear Leary go, yeah, I was in problem with Hoffman and, and De Niro, and my fucking credits are Voss and Otto and George. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I worked with in films. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate uh, let's that. Go to Sid I like Rockland. those Sierra Mist commercials. Yeah. What's Sierra Mist? The nurse him. It's a little lime drink. It's like oh. Sprite, but uh, it's not Sprite. Would you it's turn your television Sprite. on and not put pornography in for a second? I've TV yeah, for Just months. for a second? Yeah, Jim's not up on uh, pop culture. He knows culture. nothing about pop culture at all. And I'm talking <laughs> not even like what's hit this month or th- this quarter. 
I'm talking 20 years. He didn't know who uh, Jessica Alba was. I had no idea. I honestly, God, I found a song. This girl played a song. I loved it. I love this song. I'm like, what the fuck is this song? It was Rosemary Clooney. Come on over my house. <laughs> I swear to God, I'd never heard. I'm like, this is fucking great. This is so like weird. <laughs> The guy is That's what the uh, kids are wow. listening to. Wow! I, yeah, I, I knew it was sometimes like a are you embarrassed at the the entertainment information you know? You're like just like occasionally you'll just we come have to up be up on it. Like, show. Never be like, embarrassed of your knowledge. Good no point, like and where, good point. Where it lies. I can't believe yeah. I know that much about Paris. We know a lot about shark attacks. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with her. Why would I? Yeah, know that's, that about that's. Oh, point. we learned everything we need to know about shark attacks. Yeah, this we're up week. on our Jeez. shark attack yeah. uh, knowledge, oh. so we can inform the rest sharks. of the country. We learned how dangerous it is uh, down there in Florida, where since uh, a, a, like 1886, yeah. 12 people have been killed by shark attacks. Since 1886, and the news is treating it like you're just a shark buffet is going on on the coast of Florida. Let me tell you something about sharks. They're out there. <laughs> <laughs> they're Florida out there. Must. You know, they're they're everywhere. You know, so you got to be careful with these sharks. It doesn't matter that yeah. only 12 people have died in over 100 years. I think the the facts are not uh, completely reflected uh, in those um, stats that you're quoting. I think a lot more people just disappear. I think the BTK yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's nothing compared to the people who just disappear. Just yeah. disappear to the Well, sharks. sometimes people are assholes, and when they disappear, nobody tells anybody. No. You know what I mean? well, maybe nobody people misses are them. People are happy. Yeah. Embarrassed that that's they were true. bit by a shark. What was yeah. I doing punching a shark? <laughs> what was I doing with sharks? <laughs> yeah. That's like frightening enough. <laughs> I was feeding a shark. Who's, yeah. Who's this? This is that uh, oh, girl. Shark oh, that's the one armed girl. Oh. At 13, she had her arm bitten off in Hawaii. Does yeah. she have to pose Bethany armless in Hamilton in front of the fucking surfboard with the teeth marks taken out? Would you rather she. Is but that her? Armful. Is that her? Wow, she's yeah. getting ugly. Why does she get a fake oh, arm? What you happened? Know? Yeah, get a fake arm. And wear long sleeves, you know? Yeah. Nah, she's proud of it, you know. Well, yeah. she got a book deal out of it. Oh, she did? What yeah. happened? She was a cute little I kid read when she, she got her arm bit off. Maybe she can only apply half her makeup. <laughs> you are terrible, Dude, she man. got she got really ugly since she got bit by that she's shark in She's going through a phase. It's probably just a phase. That's it. Puberty yeah. is hitting, I guess. Be nice. She's kind of cute. Was Be she a real pervert and don't look at her face. Look at her body. Can't yes. see it. Can't they see it. They only show the top, the uh, above. They the don't want to show the stump. <laughs> no, those, yeah, you're right. They're not stump. showing it. No, they'll show the stump. Oh, there, there it is. is. <laughs> there right you go. She's proud of it. She's wearing short sleeves. It even shrugs. The stump is awful. It even <laughs> shrugs. You're wonderful, Jimmy. No, no, but when she shrugs, the stump moves. Yeah. Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's biggest concern is <laughs> she can't tweak my nipples and jerk me off at the same time. <laughs> How awful that is. Doggy stop with 30 seconds in a clip. All right. I get it. You're tired. I heard you. <laughs> oh, my God. See, you can do anything on satellite radio. Horrible. You really can. Horrible man you are. Learning. Let's go to Sid in Rockland. Sid, what's up? Sid. Hello. All right, he wants no. it. I think I got eaten by a shark while we were going to talk to him. Yeah, I think you're right. How about John in Jersey? John? Hey, uh, Dennis, I just wanted to let you know my dad's a retired New York City firefighter lieutenant. Absolutely loves this show. It's oh, never that's good to hear. any fireworks show before. He's like 55. I mean, goes nuts for it. I think you hit on something, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, I, I, oh, uh, you're done, sir. I, uh, <laughs> I'm teasing. Anything else? Did they, you hang up on him? Yeah, he's out. There she is. Look at her. Look at her. Look they her. have the... Uh, she's swimming with one arm. And she's falling off an inner tube. She was surfing a couple of years ago. Now she's... Just, she's going to get eaten by more sharks. I'm telling you right yeah. now. She's just shark bait. No, now she, she's in a lake now. She you wants to lose rocks? a leg. No, she's still surfing. Is nice she really? Ass. She's a surfing sensation, they say. Yeah, way to go, Aunt. Nice Guys, ass. I got a roll. She did. Uh, Why? I, I got to go back to but, work. But, oh, oh, you do? Yeah. I, I was going to say, the love fest to all the firemen that are coming out, but I've I've heard a couple of uh, people a little perturbed with the p portrayal of... Uh, yeah, well, there's some guys who, you know, who aren't uh, particularly happy about having them. You know, almost 95% of the stories that we tell on the show are, are true. It's stories. a pretty accurate portrayal yeah, I mean, of the way firemen... It's accurate based on the guys that I know and... Uh -huh. and of course, you're going to glean the more interesting stories rather than the boring stories. But uh, the way that I gauge it is the guys, the most outrageous stories that we've told, the guys that the stories belong to in real life, those guys love the show. So yeah. as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's the uh, same heard way from... when we were doing the job. There was a lot of cops who were mm -hmm. pissed off because we were giving away the secrets, you know. Yeah. So it's a reflection of that you're doing the job right. Because let's face the facts. If everybody was happy, yeah. the show would suck. True. You know, so we've been making, you know. Um, 
the Bruce Willis movies if we were doing that. You really you have know? to go? We I gotta go. I gotta go write another episode of the show. I thought we were all just having fun and stuff, though. But Dennis, if guys, I were you, Dennis, break your I would hearts, write a perk you know, Jim. <laughs> I gotta go back to work. <laughs> Jimmy was just starting to wink at I was, you. Yeah. <laughs> he was. I, I noticed that. It we kind of just, freaked me out. But we are all just warming up and getting comfortable with it. <laughs> there's, well, I'll there's come back. I'll come last back. Last vestige Washington, of Catholicism. You know what I'll do? I'll come back trip. and I'll bring uh, Lenny Clark with me. Yeah, we yeah, love Lenny. Washington wants me to hand this to you personally on MyFi, an XM. Uh, my five. They're portable units. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, no, oh, oh Jim Gavigan, come on! You, you know could have given it to him outside. I think, I, think the most, him. I think the most generous thing you could do is be to hand that over to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the, Get Jim Gavigan a goddamn mind. I think we got a Walkman. Oh, they give him a, oh, a walk give him a roadie. No, no, no. We oh. got a we got a Walkman for uh, Jim Gaffigan. Give it to the guy that doesn't have a car. No, in case just, you ever get a car. Honestly, is this the one that I can have in the truck and then take with me when I it's, walk out yeah. of the truck? Yeah, oh, Dennis, God it's amazing. Damn, I was talking about getting this. And then when you're on a plane, before you go, you can record channels and then listen on the plane. Oh, it's, cool, because I, I have the mounted thing in my truck. You know, yeah. It just sits there. You can't take it out. You know? That one, you could, you could record four hours of uh, programming and then play it back. When cool. you're Great. deep beneath the earth, is that crust? available at xm.com? <laughs> oh. xmradio.com. Yes. xmradio.com. We'll get you a MiFi. You I mean at jimgaffigan.com? Jimgaffigan.com. Is there a jimgaffigan.com? There is a jimgaffigan.com, Dennis. And where I think there is a clip from uh, uh, the movie I did with you. Uh, final. Movie. I had to carry Dennis down the hall. He did. That was a very. Oh, really? You know what was funny is that we were working on this thing for like a month. It was a real, you know, um, down and dirty shoot, but yeah. a lot of fun. And. Uh, and I'm working with this guy for like a month, and he's to me he's just the actor who's playing the guard. And he was really good. And at the end, his last day, his last scene, he goes, "By the way, I uh, I, I wanted to tell you I'm a comedian. I'm a good friend of Eddie Brills, and I know all these other guys." You know, I said, "Why the fuck didn't you tell me you were a comedian?" <laughs> again? He goes, eh, and I felt weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you know, it's like you, you probably well, you're probably beyond this, but like you know, as a comedian. If you go into an acting situation where you're the comedian, right. are, if you stumble over a line, they're like, "Wow, the comedian!" The comedian. No, you're you know, right. Those you're right. Apes, they don't know how to say lines. <laughs> right. You're right. You're right. They used to just curse it. Yeah. I'm just the opposite. When I act, I'm so intimidated by real actors. I have to let them know I'm a comedian because even when I'm sucky in the scene, it's like, "Well, I can still do something tonight that you can't do." Fucko. <laughs> I'm so nervous around real actors. I thought it was an really? excuse, so that way if you screw up, they can go, oh, he's the comedian. No, 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 no. I don't no. really get nervous around anybody anymore, except like Satan and uh, <laughs> Jesus, you know. That's pretty much yeah, it. You've been in the shit for a while. <laughs> I'm I sure early fucking, on it was know. probably a little intimidating, right? What was your first movie? Your first, like, real movie? No, that wasn't intimidating because it was more I was learning the thing. I, I, the, I was actually intimidated that when I was, I did a film with Clint Eastwood. Jesus. And the idea, I talked to him on the phone. I hadn't met him yet and stuff. And flying out there, I was like, fuck, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. But as soon as I met the guy, he was such a regular guy. I was like, well, fuck, I'm done. Nobody's going to impress me now. Yeah. It's yeah. Clint Eastwood. You know what I mean? That's, That's like good. John Wayne. Getting that shit yeah. out of the He was way just early. such a normal, regular guy. And he treated everybody like, you know, equal. And uh, he was just like a, a guy that was working on the film, you know? Wow. Smoked like a banshee and, you know. Does he really still smoke? He smoked then. He was playing. I was playing a non smoker. He was playing a smoker, and he smoked Camel Down filters nonstop wow. for two months. Ooh. And I had just quit smoking, so it was bugging the shit out of me, which is good. How many times machine. have you quit smoking? Once. That one once? time. Yeah. Didn't didn't pan out, did it? Yeah, I did it for like a year, and then uh, uh, my, that's when my cousin got killed. And then yeah, you know, that's a cheap excuse, but that's pretty much what happened. Any excuse, man. Yeah. The next thing you know, you're smoking. The so. wonderfulness that is. The cigarettes. Hey, yeah. did any one of those, any of those Hollywood people when Clint was smoking go, Clint, you really you can't. Nobody tells Clint what to do. Clint was doing a scene one day with a hundred extras behind us in the newsroom, and he does like two takes, and that's it at the most, you know. And uh, he's re he's really does his homework. He knows what's going on at all times. So we're doing a scene with me and him, and now it's time for his close up. And they put the camera up, and he starts to say his monologue, and this guy, this extra about four rows back, starts coughing. I mean, just a thing that can happen to anybody, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Clint waits for a second, and then he starts talking again. The guy goes, <laughs> and he turns around, he looks at the guy, and he goes, you all right? <laughs> and the guy goes, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> I'm fine. He goes, why don't you step outside and get some fresh air? And he goes, no, no, I'm fine. He goes, step outside. Oh. And the guy froze, and he got up and walked outside, and Clint just looked at him all the way out, and as soon as he left, he did his monologue, and I was like, wow, that's Clint Eastwood. 
Yeah. You step outside for a long time. Thrown yeah. out by Clint. How yeah. about that asshole? How'd the shoot go? Well, Clint threw me out yeah. for wrecking his monologue. Yeah. I was coughing during Clint's monologue. What, what a, a fucking boob. You know? <laughs> yeah, that exactly. You're in a scene with Eastwood and you're coughing and get kicked out. <laughs> but that guy's amazing. I'm 74 years old this year and he uh, yeah. directed that film, um, Million Dollar yeah. Baby, in which he does some of the best acting work he's ever done at age 74. Yeah. So there's yeah. hope for all of us, you know? Hey, uh, Dennis, thanks, man. Hey, guys, thanks. I'll come in. back with um, Lenny. Lenny and great. Lenny what, Clack. When is Rescue Me? It's on tonight, obviously. Tonight at 10 o'clock, every Tuesday night. And it's repeated on Fridays on and FX. Sundays on FX. And, re- and season one's available on DVD already. It sure is. And as then, is like nine other things I have to push. The Jobs well, on the job, DVD. the whole complete series complete on DVD. Complete Dennis Larry, which is all my stand-up stuff. Uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, Mary F. and Is that it? Merry Fucking Christmas, which is my um, Christmas song. will be out... Uh, this fall, and I have a special on Comedy Central called Merry Fucking Christmas. Ice Age 2? Ice Age 2 coming out in March. Cha Chihing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How Cabbage. easy a gig is that? Cabbage. I love those guys. Very un- and under- I'll be employed. appearing in Cleveland yeah, at the employed. end of July. <laughs> What'd you say? I'll be in Cleveland at the end of July. <laughs> uh, Winking at blonde boys <laughs> in church. <laughs> yes. Bring your blonde hey guys, lads. Jimmy, it was uh, great to see you, man. Good to see you. All right, there he goes. Dennis thanks, Lear, Dennis. everyone. Thanks, Dennis. Guys, thanks for the present. <laughs> Rob, bitch, rob, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bitch